Uh, we have been discussing certificate of need because a letter email that went out to customers of Panhandle Dumpsters uh, earlier uh, expressed concern over certificate of need and Panhandle Dumpsters' inability to compete in the local trash business. And with us via telephone, Drew Johnson from Panhandle Dumpsters. Drew, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good morning, guys. Joe, Matt, Rob, how are you guys today? Excellent. Thank you so much. Great. We appreciate it. So, Drew, let's talk. I mean, I, we've known each other for a, a few years now. You've been involved in several local businesses, Panhandle Dumpsters uh, being one of those. And what prompted this email that went out to customers, Drew? You know, I think it's like it's like anything else, right? You know, we, we, we're, we're only dropping roughly 290, 300 customers. But um, the reason we have to do that, we'll, you know, we'll get into it. Most of those are in the Harper's Ferry, Bolivar area. You know, some of them are kind of down on the river, Whiting's Neck, you know, some low density stuff that we just can't get to um, in a profitable manner. Um, and a lot of that is because, you know, we, we've we attempted to get our um, certificate of need from the uh, Public Service Commission, you know, and, and we failed and we did not get that. So we, we just kind of have to change up our uh, our business model a little to remain profitable and be able to provide service for the customers that we, you know, that we currently are servicing. Some people interpreted that email that was sent out as Panhandle Dumpsters was going out of business completely. That is not the case, correct? Well, of course not. I mean, even if you read the email, I mean, it's very clear. <laughs> it, it literally says, you know, if, if you re- if you didn't receive this email, then obviously we're not dropping you. I mean, we're we're talking about I don't know whatever that is, roughly two or three percent of our base. I don't even think it's that high, but yeah, you know, we service about eleven thousand customers, and we're dropping three hundred. So, um, and you know, it's just a. Uh, it's you know it's 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 a you know it's sad we don't want to drop anybody i mean we're obviously in the business of collecting people's trash and you know hauling it away for a fee and that's what we want to do you know we want to service all of berkeley and jefferson county we want to provide recycling to berkeley and jefferson county um and the recycling part is what drove our need or our want for the certificate of need um but like i said we yeah you know, we were rejected by the state of west virginia so can you tell us about the application for certificate of need process and and how that works in terms of trying to break into a market yeah sure um you know it's about an 18 hour discussion but i'll see if i can do it in about a minute here so um you know simply said you know there's a there's a, a permit called the certificate of need that is issued by the public service commission and what that allows you to do is to dump inside the state of west virginia currently all of our refuge goes um to Greencastle, pennsylvania so you as you can imagine it's quite the hike from uh blue ridge acres or harper's ferry or scrabble road all the way up to pennsylvania and back um so you know you you you, you apply and you know you have to quote unquote pr- um, prove the necessity that's where the n comes from it's actually called a certificate of necessity but um and, you know and you have to you you go to court and you say you, know, you plead your case here's Here's what we're doing. Here's what the competition's doing. Here's why we believe they're in providing inadequate service. Um, you know, and the onus of, you know, proof is on, you know, the person who files the, the, the application, right? So, you know, it's a, it's a weird spot because, you know, the, I don't want to go to court and talk bad about Apple Valley. I, I have no issues with Apple Valley. I have friends that work at Apple Valley. Us and Apple Valley seem to have gotten along well over the last three or four years. But, you know, they put you in this weird spot where the only way you can get this thing is by, no pun intended, talking trash about, you know, your your you know, your competitor who, you know, clearly has a monopoly on the area. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's not me talking bad about anybody. It's, it just is a monopoly. I mean, it's like the definition of the monopoly. You know, so one of the best ways or one one of the most influential ways to uh, provide you know, the PSC with verification of a need is for the community to show up and speak in court and say, you know, here's here's my experience. Here's why, you know, I don't think Apple Valley is providing an adequate service. Here's why I went with Panhandle Dumpsters. Um, you would think that, you know, us having 11,000, 12,000 customers would would prove a need. That doesn't check a box for the PSC. You would you would think um, 
our good reviews on Facebook and Google, which are you know tremendous compared to our competitors, you would think that that would be part of it, and it certainly is not. Um, so you you know it's it is designed to create a monopoly. It is designed for panhandle dumpsters to not be able to get it. And that's, that's sad. You know, it's, uh, it shouldn't be that way. I, obviously, I'm a free market guy. Um, but, you know, the truth is the only reason we went for it is because we want to provide recycling. Um, we think that is what's good for the world. <laughs> it's not even a profitable thing. If you ask anybody, they'll tell you there's no money in recycling. Um, you know, we have a method of recycling glass into sand, um, and it's a not even that complex of a process. But, you know, nobody wants to give us a certificate of need so we can take our recycling to the Berkeley County Solid Waste Authority. This was a post on your Facebook page, not your personal one. I think it was Panhandle Dumpsters on November the 8th. We have been denied support from the Berkeley County Solid Waste Authority to provide recycling in Berkeley County. The BCSWA's sole responsibility is to collect and process the recycling created and collected in Berkeley County. Your tax dollars go there for that reason, primarily through grant money provided by the Berkeley County Council. This is an award-winning program that has been helping keep our roads, rivers, and streams clean for the past 30 years. They said, quote, we do not support Panhandle Dumpster's request to be permitted to provide recycling services to its customers in Berkeley County, end quote. It makes us shake our heads even typing that sentence. This is beyond embarrassing for Berkeley County and downright shameful that they have taken this position. Unless we as a community can stand up against this otherwise crazy decision, we will have to continue to dump all trash, and I presume by that, Drew, you folks meant even recycling, into a hole in the earth, and we will not be able to provide your home recycling. Their sole job is to collect recycling. Why are we? Why are they so tight with Apple Valley Waste and support their efforts to run their recycling program in Berkeley County but won't help us? In addition to this decision, they have also said they will request that Berkeley County Council provide a letter denying us support for recycling. I strongly doubt that the Berkeley County Council would ever offer such a letter of denial, but their audacity to impose such unwarranted power against us is very suspect. Unfortunately, we assume that the BCSWA doesn't think our customers care about or want to recycle. If you'd like them to know that you wish to recycle, send an email to, and there's a link there. Uh, we'd like you to ask you guys for asking them to be polite and, and whatever. And uh, essentially, uh, when, when you read that, you get the idea that you're saying that Apple Valley Waste and... Berkeley County Council and the Solid Waste Authority work all in this together. Is that what you meant to imply? Well, let's back up just a, a touch, and then I'll answer the question. So before we even started the application for the Certificate of necess Necessity, John, my partner, and I decided it would probably be you know, a reasonable thing to call the Berkeley County Solid Waste Authority and go meet with them, right? And you know, they accepted our meeting, and John and I went and met with Clint Hogman, who – I'm sure everybody knows who I'm sure is a wonderful human being who I'm sure has done a tremendous job on that recycling program. I mean, he's got awards coming out of his ears, right? Mm -hmm. um, so John and I went and met with him, and we, we sat down in front of him and said, hey, you know, here, here's what we're thinking. Here's what we'd like to do. Uh, where do you stand on that? And, you know, he said, look, you know, that's not my decision. You know, that's the board's decision. But I can tell you that, generally speaking, we're, we, we will remain a neutral party. And we thought, okay, well, that seems reasonable, right? They, you know, they, they have no benefit, pros or cons, or profit or loss to support or not to support us. You know? So you know, they, they asked if we would present them our recycling plan, and they also asked us you know, you know, to come up with some ideas that maybe are outside the box and a little bit creative. So, so we did that. And we, we sent it to them. We had a presentation with them in front of the entire board. Felt like everything went okay. You know, they, they asked some questions. We answered their questions. Um, and then, you know, um, during that meeting with Clint, you know, I, I said, hey, you know, who, who else should I ask for support? And, you know, he talked about, you know, in Sorga at that time had uh, unfortunately just caught on fire. And, you know, he, he had explained how the uh, Berkeley County Council was, you know, covering essentially the rent of that place for the time being while they figured everything out. Um, so, you know, I was like, should I talk to the Berkeley County Council? So I did. I called a uh, president, um, Doug Copenhaver, 
And I asked if I could, you know, have five, ten minutes to come in. And he said, sure, Drew, no problem. Yeah. Let's be clear that the Berkeley County Council has zero to do with trash. They, nothing. You know, there's, there's no reason why they would even support or deny or anything. But, you know, I thought if nothing else, you know, they, they are the leadership of the county, I'm going to go talk to them. And I did. And I went into the meeting and, you know, uh, Clint showed up with the Berkeley County Solid Waste Authority and um, Darren showed up, who's the CEO of Apple Valley. I found interesting that, you know, that they even knew this was going on, but nevertheless. So, um, so I stood up and I made my speech and so did Mr. Hogman. He said, you know, we, we remain neutral in this situation. We're, you know, we're not taking sides on either party. And, you know, and then of course Apple Valley stood up and, you know, they said the things you would expect them to say, which is okay. You know, they have a responsibility to protect their company. Um, and then we get to court and, you know, Clint rolls in there with Apple Valley and their attorneys and his attorney and, you know, and everything just changed. And I don't know what it was. And I'm not going to speculate, you know, on, you know, a, a media source here, but, um, you know, it just changed. And they, in exact words, what I quoted in that statement there that I wrote came from the docket from court. We do not support, you know, the panel dumpsters efforts to recycle in Berkeley County. So, you know, there's there's all kinds of ways that you could take that, right? There's all kinds of things you could think. There's all kinds of conspiracies and, you know, oh, the you know, big government monopoly and they're in somebody's pockets. It's not – I don't want to paint that picture. That's not the picture we're trying to paint. But the reality is it seems pretty evident, you know. Um, Apple Valley does all their hauling. Uh, you know, all the recycling goes from Berkeley County Solid Waste Authority. Eighty percent of that goes to Apple Valley and Hagerstown. Um yeah, of course, Apple Valley has no interest in letting us recycle in Hagerstown for obvious reasons. So, you know, it's just, you know, it's a catch-22. There, where, where do you go from here, right? And the only, the only answer to that question is you've got to change your business model. You know, you, you can't operate in the negative. So we're, we're, this is not a, you know, this is a profit company. That's the company we're operating. So we just have to change our model a little. Matt Miller. So, Drew, take me through the process of, of seeing a need in Berkeley County and saying with your business partner, we want to start Panhandle Dumpsters, um, but knowing that you were going to have to face this, how quickly into your business model did you go after this certificate of need, or, or did you realize going in we're going to have to go to Greencastle and that may last for much longer than we want to, you know, transport that, that garbage? You know, Matt, we, to be honest with you, we, we know and now we have verified that we'll probably never get the certificate of need. There's just not, the, it, it's nearly impossible to get people to show up to court on a Tuesday afternoon when they're at work that talk about trash, right? Um, so we started this thing knowing we were going to Greencastle. We carry for it today knowing we're gonna to continue to go to Greencastle. Um, that's not what we want, um, but it just is what it is. And you know, so a little other piece about the certificate of need that's important is if you have the certificate of need, you mandatorily have to service every single household and the area that you are, are permitted in. So let's just say Berkeley Jefferson's, that's what we were trying to accomplish. So right now I can take all the high density stuff in you know, Laurel Ridge and I can not take anything in Shannondale. I'm just making these things up, obviously. Um, but when you have the certificate of need, you don't have a choice. You have to provide the exact same service to every single house in both of those counties. Uh, you know, even the woman over the river, through the woods, up the hill, through the gully, she has to be charged exactly the same as high density and windmill crossing. Um, you know, so they're getting the certificate of need for us was never a profitable gain. As a matter of fact, we would have lost more money probably ultimately. And we would have had to made a huge investment into our company, you know, more trucks, more people, more effort, more cans, you know, so on and so forth. You know, so the truth is we, when we started, we knew we were going to Greencastle. Um, as we sit here today, we know we're going to continue to go to Greencastle. We run a profitable company and it's okay, but it's not okay that we can't recycle in Berkeley County. And it's certainly not okay that the Berkeley County Solid Waste Authority blocked us. They intervened and literally said, we do not want you providing recycling. 
I mean, that that's the part. It's you know everybody wants to make this a panhandle dunksters versus Apple Valley thing, and it's not that. You know, Apple Valley has a responsibility to protect their permit. <laughs> I, I'm a free market guy. I mean, I get it. I would probably do exactly the same thing. But, you know, taxpayer money, uh, uh, you know, a facility that is designed to collect recycling, you know, stands up against you in the courts after, well, after you know, boldface lying to you. And uh, that's not okay, man. Are you currently picking up recycling or, or you can't even do that at all at this moment? We cannot do that at all at this moment. The only thing we would be able to do is pick, we could pick up recycling in Berkeley and Jefferson County, but we have to take it somewhere. And the closest place that we can find to take it is Baltimore because the only other closest place is owned by Apple Valley. Um, now, Apple Valley's argument would be, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a – well, yeah, we'll let you recycle here. Well, we did that in the beginning. We offered recycling in the beginning, and after we started hauling recycling up there, you know, three or four months in, they essentially said, you know, your trucks are no longer welcome here. We had a contract and everything. You know, so, like, I can't offer recycling – on their word that they're going to take my recycling, you know, like they're, you know, it, that's, that's just a trap. It's not going to work. So my only other option is the Berkeley County Solid Waste Authority and or the Jefferson County Solid Waste Authority or taking it up to Pennsylvania to Penn Waste or taking it to Baltimore. Um, none of those things work. And there's already, you're, you, even when you start recycling, you're already starting with negative money because there's, there's just no money in the commodity market anymore. Joe Ferretti. Good morning, Drew. Uh, thanks for being on the show with us to uh, talk about these issues. Uh, I want to try and just define as best I can, or as, simple, as simply as I can, the issue here. Was your application to provide curbside pickup of recyclables for residents of Berkeley County who otherwise would not have that service? Uh, yes, by default, because... Uh, we would have to provide service to all of Berkeley and Jefferson County under our certificate if it would have been awarded. And currently, do we have curbside pickup of recyclables in Berkeley County? You do. Um, you know, obviously, we service some of Berkeley County, not 100%. Apple Valley, you know, they have a certificate in use, so they provide 100%. Okay, so of they, Berkeley and Jefferson. So your application was to come in here and provide an alternative service for picking up recyclables in Berkeley County, and the barrier you ran into is uh, you, you weren't giving, your application was not granted, you were denied the ability to provide that service, and you can't take it, truck it out of state because it's not feasible economically to do that because, as you said, you have to go too far to drop that stuff off. That's correct. Okay, because we know, as we heard from Senator Trump this morning, if you're trucking trash out of state, uh, the certificate of need is, is not required because it's an interstate commerce issue. Uh, but if you don't have the option of doing that economically uh, with recyclables, you can't you can't pull that off here in Berkeley County. So what we're left with is one service provider for picking up recyclable material in Berkeley County. That's 100% accurate. Well, the, the second arm of that is the residents can take their recycling to the Berkeley County Solid Waste Authority, too. So okay. those are the two avenues to get recycling to be executed in Berkeley County. You use, either use Apple Valley Waste or you take it yourself. Was it, was it your design to provide those services to Berkeley County residents on a cheaper monthly charge than what they currently are paying with Apple Valley? You know, they don't ever really talk about the money part of it. Um, you know, we just never got that far with the PSC. Um, you know, so I, I don't know as if I could necessarily say that it would be cheaper or more expensive. And frankly, I don't even know what Apple Valley charges because I don't care. Um, and what was important to us is that we could operate it on at least a net zero, you know, because, you know, here's the business side of it. A lot of people don't use us because we don't recycle. Okay, so if I can pick up Mary Sue's recycling and make zero dollars, but I still get her her weekly collection, then I'm at the same place. If that makes right, sense, right, right, right. So, well, you're you're so, able to better compete with Apple Valley if you can provide. I'm able to full better services. compete, and you know, and the reason, the main reason Apple Valley does not want us to recycle has nothing to do with us recycling. It has to do with the amount of people who will sign up with us and take their exactly. weekly collection because we recycle. So that that's the big picture. Do you conduct business in other states other than West Virginia? Uh, not not residential collection, just uh, just dumpster 
but uh, that's a, that's a whole other conversation. Yeah, but, yeah, no, I understand. That's residential. a whole other part of the business. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I just wonder yep. if you you had experience in other states and in, in terms of this certificate of need requirement that exists in West Virginia. Yeah, no. So we um we there is a, a bid coming up for uh, the city of Hagerstown, which is about sixteen thousand customers. Yeah, so yeah, we'll be bidding that. Um, probably not saying anything people don't already know. So it's not like I'm putting trade secrets out there. Um, so the short answer is no, we do not. And the, the longer answer is we really only want to service Berkeley and Jefferson County full scale, take our trash to LCS and take our recycling to you know, Berkeley County Solid Waste Authority and ultimately, hopefully, in Sorga again. Um, and Sorga was a big thing for us. I mean, they wrote a huge letter of support for us. Um, you know, they talked about how indirectly we affected their company um not not our fault obviously but you know because you have to think if you know if sally used to use apple valley but now she uses us she's no longer recycling well that waste is no longer going to insorga and sorga is designed to process 300 tons a day and they were processing like 60 to 70 tons a day um so my 10,000 customers who were not recycling I mean, just just do the math. You know, re, you know, recycling is about seventy pounds a week um, per household, sixty to seventy pounds. So you could you could run that math if you wanted to. But um, so indirectly, we were affected in Sorga terribly. We didn't mean to and didn't want to, obviously. So um, yeah, so there's a lot of there's a lot going on here. Drew, the it, it, it naturally when when you make an application. Uh, to, in essence, provide some competition for trash hauling, recyclable hauling services in a county. Uh, most More often than not, you're going to get resistance from that. You're going to get somebody objecting to your application, which is what happened here with Apple Valley. What was the stated reason from the PSC as to why your application was denied? Okay, so there was, uh, there was two interveners. Um, the first intervener, as you alluded to, was Apple Valley, and the second one was the Solid Waste Authority, Berkeley County Solid Waste Authority. Jefferson County Solid Waste Authority did not intervene. Okay, um, so there were two interveners. You know, the the hearing was, you know, it was two days, two twelve-hour days. It, was, it takes a lot of work, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, uh, but ultimately, we did not. And this is, you know, I'm paraphrasing because I don't have it in front of me. We did not provide. Um, enough evidence to prove that they weren't providing adequate service. Um, meanwhile, and once again, I'm not making this up. You can go read it on Facebook on all their reviews. Meanwhile, in January, they missed almost 4,000 customers. Um, there were some customers that had three or four weeks of no trash. We were picking up their customers' trash for them. I mean, think about that. Their customers were calling us saying, we will move to you, but you have to pick up my last three weeks of trash which we did, obviously. Um, but, you know, that apparently, quote-unquote, that's not good enough evidence for the PSC or for the ALJ. Um, you know, I just I, – I don't know how else to p- provide proof to the courts that this isn't an adequate service being provided. Yeah, you know, I don't know. You know, we spent $100,000 in court, and we got nothing, literally nothing out of it. Do you know whether or not there was any complaints to the PSC uh- – uh, from customers here in Berkeley County about trash services? Uh, you know, there there obviously is. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't have a count or a number, but um, I'm sure. Well, I know there is. Obviously, it came up in court. But, um, you know, it's the PSC does not make this as an easy thing to make a complaint. You, if you ever get bored, you should go on their website and you should look at how to make a complaint. First of all, you have to do all the work. But then you additionally have to agree that you would show up to court if you needed to, and you would take time off work and to come to Charleston if you needed. Yeah, there's there's all these things that a customer goes. I, I know I would. I'd be like, well, I ain't got time for that. I'm <laughs> over some trash, <laughs> you know. So, hmm. and, and and lastly, uh, you of course you have a track record of operating a business here in Berkeley County. I, I assume that part of your application, uh, you you produced evidence of of how you've been conducting business in the past. Yeah, sure. You know, I, you know, I've grown, built, sold, owned many companies around here, um, and it's what I do. And as a matter of fact, it kind of hurt us a little bit in court because one of the things Apple Valley continued to use were, you know, these people that were on the witness stand were, you know, you know, were with me or had been, you know, who knew me or whatever. You know, like it didn't really help to be honest with you. Um, and I don't think. 
any of that has anything to do with the um, service being provided was adequate or inadequate. You know, like you, that's, that's all they care about. You have to provide the ad, you have to provide proof that it's inadequate. And I don't, I mean, like we got 11, 12,000 people who we pick up every week. You know, if, if they were so adequate, they would use them. And Frank, and we're more expensive than Apple Valley now. I don't know if people know that or not. We're like, a dollar more or something. It's not a ton, but like, you know, a lot of their argument was, Oh, well, we got our, we got our people through creative marketing. We got our people through giving away a free month or that's just business. That's not, that's not a cheating by any means, you know? So, um, at the end of the day, and I think, you know, Craig Blair hit on this a little bit yesterday. It's just not this, this is not how it's supposed to be. Like I, I understand why a certificate of need is important. I, I actually even don't even think it's a bad thing. Um, but to make it so impossible for a company to show up and get one, like it's not like we have six customers, one truck, and a dream, you know? Like 11,000, 12,000 people, millions of dollars worth of trucks, millions of dollars worth of cans and equipment, you know, all, nearly 75 employees. Like it's not – this isn't a small – company we're talking about it's not two dudes with a truck drew uh, you, you referenced something here and i, I want to just drill down real quickly on it because i suspect we might hear something about this tomorrow as you know we have clint hogman scheduled to come in and talk about this from his perspective uh during the presentation of evidence before the alj and, and the psc uh, you alluded to some witnesses testifying who might have been former employees of your company no, they weren't necessarily employees. They're just people who knew me, you know, builders that have I've worked with in the past or, you know, like just, just that kind of, they, they, they did everything they could do to discredit the person on the stand. And I get it. That's just part of how this works. But like, you know, I am, I'm pretty connected in, in, in the area. I mean, I think a lot of people know who I am. Um, you know, Apple Valley clearly underestimated who we are and what we can accomplish. And, you know, like it just it, it it really just kind of backfired because I didn't have, you know, I get eleven, twelve, ten thousand, whatever people, and I can get four or five to show up, and yeah, you know, it was just a it was it was a disappointing. I submitted almost a little bit over one thousand letters, signed letters, from from customers, um, and the courts threw them out because they were electronic signatures. Like, it's just that kind of stuff. Like, okay, so you got a thousand letters. You think I sat around and wrote a thousand letters and forged them? Like, I mean, they make it impossible to succeed. I mean, it's it's designed to not give out another seal in. You, you uh, mentioned that Apple Valley and, and the Solid Waste, uh, at least at the county commission hearing, showed up with their attorneys. Were, did they also have attorneys representing them at the uh, before the ALJ? Of course, they did not have attorneys at the county council, just at, at the hearing. Okay. Um, so did you, the did meeting with the county council was wonderful. I mean, I, I, you know, I just told them I don't expect you to support me. I know this isn't really even a thing for you guys, but I just thought it was important that you know what's going on. That's the only reason I was there. All right. So, so again, back to the question: the stated reasons from the PSC for denying your application. Well, what did they? focus on in terms of why they didn't feel you you are worthy of a certificate of need or necessity because we didn't we didn't prove the inadequate service of apple valley okay that was that's, it that's all they cited that that's it yeah you know, here's here's another interesting thing and I, I you know i can't i don't even understand this but we got a call from the psc last week asking us why we didn't file for a certificate of need and we're like what do you, what in the world are you talking about you know, so I, I don't understand the process. You know, you go in front of the ALJ, and then they either recommend or don't recommend. And Mr. Ferretti could talk about it more than me. But, it, it, you know, and because she didn't recommend, apparently it just never even got to the, you know, to the PSC. Um, I, I don't know. I don't understand it. I got to be honest with you. I just don't understand it. We could have appealed her decision and all this. Stuff. It's just, you know, so complicated for no reason. So, but yeah, because we didn't provide – enough evidence that they weren't providing inadequate service was the reason they signed it. 
So, Drew, my, my last question would just be, where, where do you go from here other than changing the business model as you've done that you're going to have to drop a, a 290 to 300 customers? Do you regroup and go back at it again and try to get that certificate of need? Or do you look at this and say this is an impossibility? All right. Well, so we, we sign up about 200 to 250 people a month. That's consistent. Okay. So what we drop is effectively a month, month and a half worth of customers that we'll, we'll have back by July 1. Let's just say. So it's not like it's a huge business adjustment. You know, the, the big problem out there that's not being a, addressed is you have these high density areas that we probably cover 60, 70% of, um, which is truly, affect in Apple Valley horribly because they, they're there collect, they might collect three stops. We collect nine stops, you know, like, but they still have to be there. Still have to spend the money to be there, but we're handing them all this, you know, low density stuff that they have to spend all this money to go do. The economy of scales is just a mess. Like I, I don't, it's just like me not having the CON is harming Apple Valley just as much as it's harming me. You know, so it's not, it's not benefiting anybody here. Drew, it's how, certainly not benefiting the consumer. How many other haulers are there that come into Berkeley County and take trash out of state besides Panhandle dumpsters? Any idea? So I think, you know, obviously us in Apple Valley, and then there's a small company called Collectors, but I think, you know, they might have you know, a couple hundred to a thousand people in our area. Um, you know, so it, it's really just us. I mean, it's, you know, it's just us. So we, you know, we service what we service, and I think Apple Valley reported that they service about twenty four thousand or something. So we're thirty, forty percent of what they're servicing. And Drew, if you have Panhandle dumpsters as your garbage hauler, you can't have Apple Valley as your as a recycling pickup. You can, as a matter of fact, they and they they cannot tell you no. So a lot of because they're you know they're you know, C O N right. So a lot of people do do that. I wouldn't say a lot of people, but some people do choose to do that, like myself in particular, like because I'm a green guy. So I recycle with Apple Valley Waste, and I use my weekly trash collection as panhandle dumpsters. And I presume you pay separate charges then? I do. I pay one company for the recycling and then one company for the uh, weekly collection. And that, is that recycling charge less than what you would pay if they were doing trash and recycling? Uh, no, I believe it to be the same number. I, I think, you know, the PSC sets all those rates. So based on profitability of company and so on and so forth. So, which is another interesting discussion. So as we continue to pick up more people and, you know, Apple Valley's profitability is just, you know, it's just going to, it's going to go down. You know, it just is what it is. Um, so they're then going to apply to the PSC and say, hey, our profits are down. Uh, we need to increase our rates. The PSC is going to look at their P&L and say, yeah, you're right. They're going to increase their rates. So now you're going to, yeah, look, we're going to end up driving rates. I mean, there's so many things that are wrong with it here, you know, so um, because the rates are designed to protect the consumer and make sure the company doesn't go out of business. You know, it's like it's the yin and yang, right? So. You know, as we take customers away, their profitability goes down. As their profitability goes down, they're going to have to increase their prices through the PSC. So it's just the whole thing's a mess. Uh, well, I appreciate your time today, Drew. This has been a lot of information that uh, has come out here that has answered a lot of questions. So I appreciate you taking the time to be with us for most of this hour and do this. Yeah, no, I, uh, I'll come any time to talk trash, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm Italian. Talking trash is what I do, baby. <laughs> I, I got you. Or we talk ravioli. So yeah, good. buddy. Hey, thanks, Drew. Thank you. Hey, you bet. You guys have a great day, okay? You too. Drew Johnson from Panhandle Dumpsters. 